Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, we will be reviewing a brand new beer. We've got Molson Canadian 67 Sublime, a lemon and lime beer. I really like this label. You guys can argue with me all you want. I like how elegant it is at the same time as simple. I mean, you have the normal Molson Canadian 67. 67 is pushed off to the side so you can have the Sublime. I like how the Sublime is in yellow and green to let you know that it's lemon and lime. I like the wheel of lime with the twisted lemon, well the wedge of lemon on there. I like the yellow outlining around it. I just think it's a very elegant looking label. I like the how the white iciness fades into that silver really nicely. Then, just like other 67, well the other 67, we have the nutritional information. You got some protein in there, 67 calories still, so I don't know what they took out of this beer to make it stay at 67 calories, because once you add the lemon and lime, you're going to raise the calories a bit, at least I would assume so. Anyway, I'm excited about this beer, mostly because it's new. I have a 67 glass to pour it into, so it might still look kind of cool. I complain about the packaging, and when I talk about the packaging, I'm talking the whole package. I mean, I like the look of this case. It doesn't look as childlike as a lot of the other lime beers, so already I'm giving it a plus on that, because again, not as childlike as the other lime beers. But my only complaint about the packaging is it's the same cap as the normal Molson 67, so it's not differentiating at all. The only reason I care about that is because I collect caps. Uh, you see I'm wearing a Rickards hat mostly because I don't own only any other Molson products hats. Uh, I would have worn a Molson shirt for just the hell of it since I'm doing a Molson product, but I don't have any of those either. Let's go at it. Now, if none of you had Molson 67, it is brewed to 67 calories. It's more, I'd say more aimed towards women, more aimed towards the people that are going to care about their caloric intake. Uh, it's 3% alcohol. I don't really like 67 mostly because of the 3% alcohol, but I mean, being honest, 67 isn't aimed towards me. It's not aimed towards the guy that's going out to drink beer or the guy that's going out looking for beer without caring about calories. So anyway, we've got the Molson 67 flute that we're going to pour it into. That beer is extremely pale. It's actually pretty close to the color of my table. Uh, it did have a nice two-fingered head. The head's fading super quickly. Lots of carbonation moving in there. But I mean... It looks beautiful in the glass. You can't really ask for a lime beer to look any different than that. That's the same look that every lime beer out there has had. Again, I like the elegance of this bottle. I think it's the best looking lime beer bottle I've had yet. Uh, and by best looking, I mean it does look the least aimed towards kids. I've said that already, but to me, that means a lot. I be more willing to sit there and hold one of these in my hand in a bar than I would be a Bud Light Lime or a, a Miller Chill or a Red Baron Lime or even a Moosehead Light Lime. Even though I like Miller Chill and Moosehead Light Lime, the labels just make me not want to hold them. They just scream kid beer to me. Scent-wise, this is probably the best smelling in the lime family I've had. You get the lime, but it's balanced with that lemon scent. Uh, that little twist of lemon they added to it. 
just gives it that little kick of citrus that it didn't have before. And the lemon makes it smell more natural. I mean, I'm sure it's the candied lemon and lime in it, but it just smells so much more natural with the lemon added to it. That citrus is just mixed nicely because now you just you're not only on the one citrus, you have the two citruses that just make it have a nice citrus aroma there. Really though, I don't smell any beer. I smell the citrus. Let's give it a shot. You know what? I don't want to stop drinking this. This is actually really good. It doesn't taste like beer whatsoever. but you don't get that candiness to it either. Uh, the citrus actually tastes more natural. Uh, it looked like there was a huge amount of carbonation in it when I poured it. The carbonation's still moving, but mouthfeel, it's super soft, almost velvety, really. It's, it's not like, say, an English pub ale or Guinness or anything like that. It doesn't have that velvety smoothness, but... It's just as soft as one of them. It actually has more of a stout feel. Not as... Not as full. Like, it doesn't just fill your mouth with it. But just crossing your tongue, it has that feel. I need another one of these. Okay. Now this one has not been refrigerated. Now, I know their tagline for most of their beers are, well, for the 67, well, that was the perfect commercial pour. It's too bad I didn't have the camera just zoomed on that, the little tiny bit going over the edge. Anyway, they always say you can have a little or you can have a lot. For me... As of that first bottle, we'll see what this second one. I could have the whole six pack and not care. Actually, you know what? Warm? It's actually better. Holy shit, Molson. You hit the nail on the head with this. I don't know, I was not a huge fan of Molson 67, so I don't know exactly how the recipe changed to make this, but this is flipping good. Just like as on the nose, the lemon and lime mix almost perfectly. Uh, there is no hops, there's no malt. It, it's almost dry, too. I mean, the aftertaste is pretty much non-existent. You get a little tiny bit of bitterness at the very, very end. Like, right now, it's just starting to come out. But I, it hits my tongue. I swallow. I get the lemon and lime just up in the forefront. Then it starts to fade more to just lime. And then it finishes it with this tiny bit of bitterness. It's actually really good. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, I'm a sellout, this and that. But, I'm looking at this more as a style beer than anything else. If I was going out looking for a lime or lemon beer, right now this would be my choice. Uh, this is very drinkable. It is very refreshing. It's very low calories, so I mean, anyone watching their calories, watching their figure are going to love it. Me, 
I'm 300 pounds. I don't really care about my figure. Uh, 3% alcohol, so you'd have to drink a lot to get blitzed if that's what you're out doing. But I don't think it's really meant to be a get out and get blitzed beer. Uh, <laughs> it's a really tasty beer. I'm going to give it... A very drinkable 8 out of 10. I know, again, most people are going to gonna blitz my page because of it. But I'm looking at it as a lime beer. I have tried craft brew limes. I don't like them. This, this style of beer really belongs to the macro market. And until a craft brew sends me something that's better... This is holding top marks in the lime beer category. So, Molson 67 Lime, if you're really into lime beers, or you want something nice, a little subtle, something drinkable. I mean, I just drank two of them in the span of this video, and I could go for more. Molson Canadian 67 Sublime is your way to go. 8 out of 10 from the Albina Rhino. Thank you for watching, and bye.